Okay, today we have the Perceiva digital calipers because the last set of calipers that we reviewed, you can see that up here, they went bad. They started measuring very weird measurements. You know, a one centimeter measurement would display 0.54 of a millimeter. It was very strange. So we returned those and we got these guys. The Amazon reviews on these were a little bit better and these were more expensive. I believe these ones were $34, whereas the last pair were in the mid 20s somewhere. So I haven't opened up these yet. We can take a look at what we have on the back here. Okay, the brand is Perceiva. That's the model number. It'll measure up to 150 millimeters or 15 centimeters. Has a large LCD display. Takes a 2032 three volt battery and is made mostly of stainless steel. Okay, and the manufacturer is in China, it looks like. The case is uh, pretty firm. It's nice and sturdy. Doesn't have a lot of flex in it that you could, you know, if you stepped on these, I'm sure it would probably break, but you know, if you dropped it, it would be worth it. It looks like these clips aren't on there very good. The plastic is, the hinge is basically just soft melted plastic type of thing so let's open them up okay so we get a manual it's printed in color and it looks like it's basic instructions on how to use it and the maintenance and its technical spec specifications. So here's the resolution is one one hundredth of a millimeter and five thousandths, no, that's five ten thousandths of an inch. Two hundredths of a millimeter for accuracy and one one thousandth for uh, inches. Repeatability, 100th, okay, so hopefully these ones will work a little bit better. There's multiple languages in this, I think of English, Dutch, French, Italian, and Spanish. Okay, so we get the calipers. Nice large display. We get a spare battery, excellent. And we get a screwdriver. I'm sure this is what we will use to change the battery if we need to. I think these have a little more weight than the previous pair. Zero buttons on top here. So here we have the zero button to change from millimeters to inches or imperial to metric and our on off button. And then we have a lock stop so that we can lock our measurement in place and this will no longer slide on here. So let's just take a review of the ruler here let's zoom in and it looks like we have a peel so we can see here that the edge of the block does line up nicely with the zero for millimeters. Let's move it out to 
10 millimeters and we'll see if the edge of the block is accurate. So it is pretty accurate there on the ruler that it comes with. The line for the 10 millimeters does line up quite well with the millimeters measured on the screen. So I appreciate that a little bit better. We do have the same functionality as the previous one with the depth block here. We also have a depth stick at the end. We have inside and outside measuring calipers. So the previous pair, the issue was, you know, I'd get out to here, you could zero it out, you'd measure. And when you closed it up and you zeroed it out, the next time you measured, you could get to 10 millimeters and this would display you know, four millimeters or something like that or 5.8 millimeters. It was not accurate. It wasn't always the same resolution. So those got returned. I don't believe I filmed any of the issues with it, but I think in the previous video that I linked here does show that it was, did have some inaccuracies. So we'll leave that as is. They got returned, I got refunded. I picked up these instead. These seem a little bit better quality. So let's take a look at what we get in inches. So it does look like we get down to five ten thousandths of an inch in accuracy. So there's a 15. So tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. And then we have another measurement here. This is fractions. This is actually a great feature that not a lot of calipers will come with. So down to 128 in fractions here. So if we wanted to measure how large something is, this will tell us in inch fractions. Okay, so it does display your inches here. And an inch in metric is 2.54 centimeters, which would be 25.4 millimeters. So let's take a look. And there we have 25.47 millimeters, which is right on the nose for how large and inches, let's get it right down to right there and we'll see what this says. So down to the thousandth. One inch and five ten thousandths. One inch, no fractions that could go into 128. So I do like this. It is a little bit bulkier in size here. Let's zoom back out. It is a little bit smoother in uh, using the wheel. And it does automatically turn on when you move it. So if we turn it off, we start measuring, we get that right away and it is accurate right off the bat. An ant. And it is accurate right off the bat. So we can see here if we turn it off and we slide it out, we'll go directly to 60 millimeters. And it does line up exactly with the 60 millimeter line. So hopefully these ones are better than the ones that I received, the previous set. 
let's check the battery compartment, which I think this is here. Actually, yeah. see how easy it is to change the battery. You just pop that open with a screwdriver or something. And you can swap out the battery in there and drop it back in. There's no tools or anything needed. Pretty good. Not sure why they included a screwdriver if they're expecting you to do maintenance on your own. You can see in the manual here what kind of maintenance. Never apply any electric pressure on any part of the caliper. Electric pressure. That is quite the translation. So I assume that means voltage, electric voltage. So I don't see anywhere here that you would require a screwdriver for maintenance. Okay, so we'll see how these turn out. And if these go wonky like the last set, we will hopefully get a video in of them going wonky. We'll do an update. I updated the description of the last ones about that issue. And now we have these ones. So we will be using these new ones to do measurements on some things with the 3D printer. That is coming soon. It's a long, long video and it's taking a long time to edit. I'll probably release that in a few parts just because the length of it is very long. Maybe I'll do a shorter video of the basics. But that's what we have for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you out in picking a pair of digital calipers. Uh, don't pick those last pair because I didn't even get to use them a couple times before they stopped working. Hopefully these will stay working. They seem a little bit better. I like the big screen. That'll be it. Thanks for watching. Bye.